famous for its big party. As it turned out, I was at the wrong one. I should have been at one where I was needed to help two friends of mine. Uh, it's fine, sir. You're on the list. You can go on in. Party, you always have a good time. Not anymore. I'm through. I will decide when you're through. Not anymore. Donna, did I force you into being wined and dined by some of the most important people in the world? Look, I found somebody. He's a really nice man from a very good family. Congratulations. If his family knew I went to parties like this. Darling, these people want their personal lives kept private even more than you do. Do these people know about the tapes? How do you know about the tapes? Why are you showing me this? Well, because you obviously already know about it. What I want to know is how. This is my little secret, Monica. It's sick. Those people don't even know they're being taped. A week ago, I found two of my tapes missing. Oddly, you were on both of them. Now, isn't that a coincidence? I want to leave. I want my tapes back. I don't have them. You're a liar. What I want to know is, what do you intend to do with them? Protect myself from you. Look, I know how powerful you are. Now, just... Leave me alone, and I swear to you, I'll never show those tapes to anyone. You swear, but what about your boyfriend? I can handle him. Oh, you handle people very well. You've learned a lot since you met me. But you still haven't grasped the primary rule. Stay in your own league. You're in way over your head. Do you really believe that I'd let you get away with this? You have no choice. I have options you could never dream of. Solved the security leak. And now we have another problem. Ask the gentleman on the select party list to meet me in my upstairs office now. Listen. What's up, Arthur? By the way, your timing's lousy. My bird was just homing into the target. No chance for a recall. <laughs> Arthur, this is no time for boys' night out. There are dozens of the most beautiful peacocks in the world downstairs just asking to be plucked. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> I'm afraid you gentlemen have a much more urgent problem. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but a young lady whom you all know very well has had the poor judgment to attempt to ruin your lives. <laughs> she moved to Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Arthur? We've been taped. Taped? You mean somebody's been listening into... Not listening. Watching. With a video camera. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. I mean, how could anybody come into your home with this security system that you have? And... It was my security that did it. I think that Monica Kern and her boyfriend did this on their own. What exactly did they do? And who did they do it to? All of us. Explicitly. And collectively. Are you out of your mind? This could hit us all like a bombshell. Your parties were supposed to be private. Private, tasteful, nice affairs. Well, you tell that to the Pentagon. And NASA. And the network. And if the public goes along, you've got nothing to worry about. Well, then I take it we're all agreed to act as one 
regardless of what might have to happen? Uh, what the hell does that mean? I don't know. That's up to you, isn't it? How you want Monica Kern and her young lover handled? and anybody comes at you, pull away. Okay. Well, I want to tell you something. I, for one, cannot face the consequences of this course of action. And I concur, gentlemen. We're out of control. What about you, King? These gentlemen speak in military terms. Surely, with your sense of theater, you must realize that we have to see this thing through to its climax. I'm sorry. In my business, we know how everything turns out before we begin. Arthur, I have a strong suspicion you're enjoying this more than the parties you give. That's right, Arthur. I seriously wonder if any of us really knew you before this happened. Oh, OK. Why don't you just start out by simply paying off the parasite oh, and let me know how it comes out? Perhaps the thought that the deaths of Jerry and Monica were not self-induced. Do you ever think about that? But they were self-induced. I hope you all believe that. There may be some doubt in the group, Arthur. After all, it's very convenient. Well, don't look at me. I'm not a likely candidate to arrange the deaths of two would-be blackmailers. Now, on the other hand, you, General, with your elite guard, can mete out awfully swift justice. And you, Marco with your relatives who are so adept at getting rid of unwanted competition. Need I say more? He's right, you know. We've got to stick together at this point. I don't agree. I want to know what you're planning, all of you. I think we understand that there is one thing we must do, and that is regain custody of that lone remaining tape. Now, to do that, we have to appear to be willing not to do business with Mr. Holcomb. To do business with us, he doesn't need the tape in hand. We know what's on it. But if he tries to sell it to somebody else, he's going to have to show his wares. Then we've got it. We're ready for it. Each of us, in his own way, will be asked to contribute. Now, wait a minute. If he doesn't sell to us, who does he peddle it to? We will know soon enough. You will all be informed as to what will have to be done. Good night. Run away from this guy. Let's dump him. sorry for what's happened. I never meant for you to get hurt. Let's get out of here. I think you better stick around. One of those two clowns got to explain a murder to the police. What? Holcomb's dead, sir, by the feel of at least four hours. Oh, my God. Where's this thing going to end? What are you trying to say? You two guys didn't have anything to do with it? That's right. He was dead when we got there. What about the tape? The safe was open, sir. Whatever was in it was gone. Tapes, cash, everything. Mr. Nelson, I'll tell you everything about my involvement and my men's involvement. I think you better wait. Tell it to the police. I never meant for any harm to come to you. I hope that's obvious by now. My men were just trying to protect me. I had it with two-faced hypocrites like you. You know that? I said that's enough. Get in there and call the police. Yes, sir. Go away here. 